Since early childhood, a legendary singer Amy Winehouse was surrounded by music. At the age of 12, a young starlet entered a prestigious Sylvia Young school where she learned to play the guitar. Also, at that age, she started writing own lyrics and music to it. Amy was completely involved into the music world and in 2000 was acknowledged as the best vocalist of the National Youth Jazz Orchestra. The year 2002 can be considered the singer's start of a professional career. Her friend brought Winehouse's demo version of a song to A&R and it resulted in Amy's first contract with EMI. Within just a year of cooperation, the first album called Frank was released and received two Brit Awards. Her second album, Back to Black, made her internationally famous. Getting more and more successful and popular, she was getting more and more addicted to alcohol and could even come to the shows or her own concerts drunk. This bad habit led to her death in 2011, aged just 27 from alcohol poisoning. Amy's father, Mitch, had tried several jobs to feed the family. At first, he worked as an installer of window panels and then became a taxi driver and then finally found a job as a singer. He had been very close with Amy, giving her recommendations and advice. After the daughter's death, he is a copyright owner of her music. The mother, Janice, used to work as a pharmacist. Like Mitch, she shared a special tight bond with Amy even though parents divorced when a future starlet was nine. According to Janice, she knew Winehouse wouldn't make it till 30, as she was quite bored with life. The late celebrity had a brother, Alex, who had always been very supportive of a talented singer's career and proud of all her achievements. After her death, he claimed that the singer didn't die because of alcohol intoxication but problems with bulimia. Today, he works at the Amy Winehouse Foundation. The famed singer had a couple of serious relationships and once even walked down the aisle. Her first partner was a singer and bassist Alexander George Clare. They met in a bar that Amy often visited. This relationship had lasted only a year from 2006 till 2007. In 2007, Blake Fielder Civil walked a talented singer down the aisle just to divorce within two years. They also met in a bar and fell in love immediately. This was the main reason why they tied the knot without almost dating. Once, Blake noticed that Amy tried her first heroin with him, so no wonder many people were blaming him for the musician's death. A film director and writer, Reginald Stephen Travis, had been celebrity's partner since 2010 and up to her death in 2011. The couple was clearly in love and even planned to get married and have children. But all these dreams were not destined to come true. That is all. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.